Today I got you guys 10 things serious zombie players do in this thing called Call of Duty Zombies and this is episode number 2 and in the first one we learned a little bit about Tony that he is super serious and the fact that he doesn't like memes. That's true though but today I wanna tell you something more. He likes facts. If you said wind is air, he would correct you by saying, well, wind is not air. Wind is moving air Bruh. and is caused by differences in air pressure. Tony will always correct people because that's his mission in life. And real quick, before we jump in, I want to let you know I'm running a World War II giveaway with some of my zombie friends. Just follow the link in the description. Make sure you are subscribed and you are good to go. And also, let me know one thing serious players do for episode number three to be featured. But coming in at our number 10, spot I got someone by the name of some guy watching YouTube but he says he would make sure he always gets the wonder weapon in the map and probably wouldn't revive anyone who got it first so he can actually get it and let me tell you Tony is super serious right he got game he's always vote I mean Carlos got game too but I mean like you guys know what I'm saying but ladies and gentlemen Tony is always poke. For example, right, he's playing with some of his friends and uh, surprisingly he got Bob in his game. Well, uh, Tony doesn't know like who's Bob, but he will find out as soon as he jump in the game. But guess what, all right? Bob actually got a pot can servant. So what will happen is Bob will go down and Tony will tell everyone to not revive. Tony is super serious, but this time around he will bait everyone. He will be like, yo, Alejandro, Carlos, you guys want that a pot can servant? Uh, and of course, course Alejandro and uh, Carlos will be like yes we want that a pot can servant and uh, Tony will be like yo so let Bob die and I will let you get that a pot can servant for this time only he will bait them he will lie I mean Tony is serious but this time he needs the a pot can servant he is so serious that he knows that if he gets the a pot can servant everyone in his game will get you round 100 and he will not lose this opportunity as soon as Bob goes down he will tell everyone to not revive him and as soon as Bob actually dies uh, he will go ahead he will just hit that box of course he will do that whenever he got like 100k points or you guys know what I'm saying but he will make sure he gets that a pot can servant and right after that he will get to round 100 but coming in at our number nine spot I'm talking about serious players aka my neighbor Tony he will only dig whenever it snows on origins or it doesn't matter if, it, if it's like origins or origins remaster he will only dig whenever it snows it doesn't matter to Tony because uh, what if he doesn't get what he wants right then then he's gonna back out and restart the game but he knows that if he do that or if he make those mistakes and restart the map then it's gonna cost him a lot of time and he know like that Tony will make sure he stays serious um, because that's what he likes to do. He will make sure he get the ice type parts ASAP because the faster he gets the ice type parts, the faster he will be able to make the ice type. Yes, talk about surprise, ladies and gentlemen. But hey, at our number eight spot, I got my boy by the name of Florida Kid who says serious players don't hit the box and always buys a wall weapon, preferably a SMG. And get this straight, Tony will never hit the box as soon as he jump in the game. A lot of players would do, like Alejandro, Bob, I can name a few here. Of course, uh, Jimmy down the street will always do that. They will be like, yo, I gotta I gotta hit my Nibba mystery box here. You know what I'm saying, right? I gotta get that Apothecan. I gotta get that um, um, Reagan, Reagan Mark II. But they always fail to understand a serious player only acts seriously and a serious act leads to a serious uh, whatever, doesn't matter. Tony knows he needs to act seriously and in order to act seriously, he needs to be serious and he will go right ahead he will just fly he will be like yo VMP you know what I'm saying he will buy that VMP because he knows VMP shoot fast um um he can move fast with it um um it's a great investment and Tony likes to always shoot for the stars but coming in at our number seven spot I'm talking about serious players they will always prepare in advance before Templar start attacking generators because what if, like what if Panzer spawn in and Tony is right in the middle, what, what he will do? Of course like if the Templars attack the Juggernaut machine or the, the generator number 4, he is going to lose that Juggernaut if he actually go down because of that uh, Papa Panzer. And uh, number 1, of course like Tony would never call Panzer a Papa Panzer because hey, memes don't exist for him but what I'm trying to say Tony will always have like a wonder weapon in possession and as soon as okay for example let's just say round 8 Templar start attacking generator number 4 and uh, Panzer boy oh boy he's right here and Tony went down of course Tony will never go down but, but let's just say that right Tony went down 
uh, and Juggernaut area is not secure. So he will run. First of all, he will throw all those grenades because of course he knows that they are actually meant to be thrown. And as soon as he's throwing them, of course, like he will pull that wonder weapon out. Uh, he will be running. He will make sure that he got this. He will be super confident because that's number one. He understand that being confident e equal like, but ladies and gentlemen, he will throw all those grenades and that will actually slow down that, uh, Templars, they will actually kill Templars and that will slow down the process or whatever, it doesn't matter, right? But he will get there ASAP and he will shoot that wonder weapon that he got in his hands and he will get the job done. Tony, don't play. But coming in at our number six spot, now this one go make you think, all right? My boy Curran, who says taking helpful goblins like cashback, profit sharing, immolation, liquidation, and near death experience, if anyone fully dies, let, let's just say Bob went down. A pro player, or let, let's just say Carlos or Tony for this one, we're, we're, we're gonna say Tony, right? So Tony got uh, Bob's back. He will watch after him till he gets settled. My neighbor, my favorite map is Nagdar and Totem, the original. And dude, say no more. I, my my favorite map is Kinnodar Totem for sure. But Nagdar and Totem is a beautiful map for sure. But uh, as soon as Bob comes back, he will be like, yo, Bob, stick with me, man. You know what I'm saying? I got the profit sharing. So uh, the amount of points I'm going to make, you go make those points as well. And as soon as Bob hears this, Bob is like, dude, I never actually thought about that. Like, you're crazy good. Like, dude, let's get you around. 200 that's exactly what Bob's gonna say and dude I want to say this right serious player attracts serious players and Tony knows how this game works but coming in at our number five spot I got my boy once again by the name of Florida kid who says serious player aka Tony will always make sure they get 100 points or 100 free points rather under the perk machine first and get this straight Tony will make sure he acts seriously because he knows that he is super serious right and if he's the main guy to get the hundred points under the perk machine he will be able to open doors um um he will be able to buy guns um um that means round 100 incoming tony is ridiculously serious and dank memes don't exist for him but coming in at our number four spot serious player pause before eating or drinking and get this straight tony will make sure he paused his game before he, let, let's just say, right, like, I, I personally, I'm not a serious player by any means. I like to watch movies and play zombies, and, and 9 out of 10 times, I'm actually watching a movie, and I'm not even playing the game, right? Like, that's what I like to do, but Tony, he will pause the game before even drinking water, and he knows water is not wet, so that that, that sort of stuff, he, he knows that. Uh, but what I'm saying here, I would personally be eating and playing the game at the same time, because, hey, multitasking, 2017, throw me some dang memes, you know what I'm saying, but... Tony, no memes, uh, always being serious because, hey, that's his only mission. He will pause that game and he will start eating or drinking. And as soon as he finished eating or drinking, he will be like fueled up. He will be like, yo, let me tune zombie asses up right now. And this is gonna be beautiful. He he knows what's up. But hey, coming in at our number three spot, let's just say if Tony is about to play Zatsubunoshima and he only wanna go for high rounds and not wanna do the e strike, he will never water plants because first of all he knows water is not wet yes uh, tony knows that that water is not wet he likes facts and he's all about that and he's not about any memes of course we know it's a meme but hey tony knows that water is not wet he takes it seriously he's super serious you guys already know but ladies and gentlemen he will never water plants because he knows it's a waste of time he would rather use perkaholic than try to squeeze out a perk bottle from plant because he got the unlimited amount of perkaholic because he plays uh zombies all the time he's super serious round 100 you know he got that shit and hey watering plants is gonna be a solid problem because he's gonna be wasting time and that's an act of not being serious and tony hates that tony will always act seriously and he will rather use perkaholic than actually squeeze or try to squeeze out a perk bottle from zetsubunashima plants and to tony that's not even a meme but coming in at our number two spot i got my boy by the name of linkcraft21 who says tony would never allow someone to disrespect him when he goes down okay tony goes down and that one guy crouches on his dead body and fake revive him basically not revive him uh that guy is not bob okay very important that guy who fake revives or not revive uh, my boy Tony is not Bob, but he is jealous of Tony. And when he has the chance, 
that's what he's gonna do. He, he's like jealous. He's not. He's gonna fake revive. And whenever Tony realizes that, he would never play with him again because he knows that uh, he wanna only play with serious people or serious players. And as soon as he knows that someone is a bad apple, he will try to cancel that shit out and he will tune his ass. And it's very important because Tony will let them taste their own medicine and as soon as they taste their own medicine, Tony will never play with them again. Very important. But coming in at our number one spot, I'm coming in with a banger and I was really thinking about like naming a character like Fernando, but hey, at our number one spot, we got my boy Fernando who says focus zombie players think that the game is real life. And guys, I'm gonna end this video right here, gonna drop the mic, check out some other videos on the screen, they are full with dank memes, and let me know in the comments that one thing that serious players do, enter in the giveaway, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see See you very freaking soon.